Now, as I mentioned, it's a great honour to be the best man. But with the role comes writing a speech, and to be honest with you, I decided to turn on to the internet for some help. I began searching the internet, and after a couple of hours, found some really good stuff. But then I remembered I was supposed to be looking for speeches. I didn't actually find several speech ideas. Unfortunately, none of them were about a couple named Emma and Chris who lived in Leicester. Chris was born on Monday the 17th of May 1993. I tried to link this to some world major event, but it seems nothing else happened that day. <laughs> Although the Leicester, in, the Leicester Royal Infirmary still refer it to Ugly Monday. <laughs> As I remember that day, I was so proud to be the big brother of that baby boy. And even prouder to be by his side today. A big you, you, that is well. <laughs> I am, ladies and gentlemen, also proud today to be able to call Emma my sister-in-law and to welcome her family to ours. By the way, doesn't Emma look lovely today? <laughs> Emma and Chris, as you begin life together as a married couple, I will ask you just to keep loving each other. Marriage isn't about finding a person you can live with. It's about finding that person you can't live without. Ladies and gentlemen, those two people are very important to us. Without them today, wouldn't be less joyless. Tonight, I'm here free of charge, and I, I hope you find me with every penny. Normally, I would reserve for a round of applause for myself. However, on this occasion, I'll finish with, ladies and gentlemen, would you, would, would you please raise your glasses and toast to the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Hallam. Cheers. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip.